Hi, I'm Brad Rourke and I'm the president and CEO of Scotty Resources. Thank you very much for your time today to listen to our story and our wonderful value proposition. We only have 10 minutes on, on this presentation, so I'm going to move quick on a few things that I shouldn't, but hopefully I can uh, entice uh, you well enough to, to ask questions and, and uh, give me a call and, and, and uh, do some more due diligence. With that, I'll try and share my screen here and we'll get right into this. Here we go. Great, Scott agree, uh, Scotty Resources. So we'll start with a forward-looking statement as, as I'll be making forward-looking statements as, as most exploration companies do so. The three things I would like people to, to walk away from this and, and, and the three boxes that I would like people to think that we've checked and because uh, we do believe we have would be the people that we have involved to get us to where we are today, uh, the jurisdiction in which we're, we're, we're working in, and, and then, of course, the geology. And I think uh, we can make a case that we check all three of those boxes, which would give a excellent case to, if you were to put some risk capital to work. I'm not going to focus on these names right now because I can do 10 minutes just on this. But uh, please, please refer to the names and, and see there's a lot of success there, a lot of knowledge in, the, in this industry. Scotty Resources uh, is dominantly or mostly up in northwestern British Columbia in a place called the Golden Triangle. What got me interested in this project five years ago, we're into my fifth season, was it was a past producing mine. Uh, the opportunity came when I was doing some due diligence on, on a opportunity and helping out a company. I'm actually in the area right now where I've, I've lived a, a good portion of my adult life in a little town called Smithers which is, is close to the asset or, or close to Stuart and the Scotty gold mine. So my first uh, due diligence that I did, you know, I saw a past producing gold mine that produced a half ounce per ton. Then uh, the only reason that I could see why it closed down was just economics of the time. This was in the early eighties. Uh, they found a vein on surface, started mining it, but took a $20 million facility from the Royal Bank of Canada and back then you're paying 22% interest. Gold rolls over from $750 an ounce to roughly $300 an ounce in that short period of time. And it, it was that interest payments that, that really, really, uh, uh, you know, put the knife into this. Now, again, it, it recovered over a half ounce per ton in the three years that it operated. So that's the first piece that, that got me excited. The second was is Peridium's operation office happens to be in Smithers. And uh, at the time they were building that power line and I was like, well, there's major infrastructure going past a, a, a past producing mine. And, and so that's what got me interested into it. And uh, here we are five years later. Uh, when we first started, we, we started with 400 hectares and, and just proper around the Scotty gold mine. Fast forward five years where we are today, we have taken this thing, we've done over 10, 12 transactions accumulated uh, almost 25,000 hectares, as you can see in the dark blue. Uh, not only did we accumulate that land, we took two years and started modeling this and re-logged corn and just basically took a company that existed in 20 banker boxes and, and, and applied uh, technology and, and, and a fresh eyes, structural geology, and came up with some theories. There is a photograph of the original 400 hectares and that's the Scotty gold mine. So when, when you look at that, you go, oh, 400 hectares is a lot bigger than one would think. But anyway, so we're at 25,000 now. One thing I'd like to point out is if you look center left of, of this um, uh, photograph, you can see the four yellow triangles and, and they kind of follow up in an east-west fashion just to give you a reference. If you remember that, I'll, I'll try and make some sense of that as we go down into the presentation. But there you go. There's a mill in there. There's a permitted mine. We're an exploration company, but it is a nice add-on. And again, road accessible. Even though we are 25,000 hectares, we focus our work on just about what you see there. As you can see, we've posted some historic drill results from days gone by, which would get anybody excited. So that's the information we were working from. Of course, I highlighted some of the best, but the ones in asterisks were results that we got last year in a small 2000 meter drill program. Three distinct areas, three distinct, very, very nice uh, intercepts. 
Uh, the Scotty Gold Mine is exciting to me. It's 11 over 11 grams, and it's in front of the vein that produced a half ounce per ton. So that's really exciting. The Ben Vein is a very nice intercept at 73 grams over four meters. So on surface, that's more of a confirmation hole because we never could find the drill collars or relog the core. So it's more of a confirmation hole, but we sure are happy uh, to get that information now. Confirm it was there, and then we can build out from, from that model. But on the blueberry vein, again, on surface, this surprised us last year. We were actually trying to hit something else and came away and, and, and surprised us, and we got a 7.5 gram over 34 meters. So that's what we got to follow up on this season. So here we are, uh, end of 2020 season, and we've just completed 7,000 meters, 7,060 about two thirds of that drill program would be following up on those three zones and the other third out trying test new zones. I've never seen drills before. And so we're really, really uh, excited and, and, and see how, how this turns out. But we ended up putting 18 holes into the domino zone uh, and, and a, just a couple into the six ounce zone, but there's a compelling reason why. Um, he, our life changed at Scotty Gold about a year and a half ago when we accumulated the Summit Lake properties. Uh, we never thought that that was available, but the world turned and, and, and we had an opportunity, so we jumped at it. Our first uh, exercises we did at the beginning of 2019 is we sent out a surface crew and just walked the margins of the glaciers. Summit Lake property had very little information on it, uh, no min files because it was privately held. So we had the geologists walk the margins of the glaciers. And as you can see, these are some of the grab samples we found. Very exciting, especially if you're not going to historic outcrops that a whole bunch of people had taken samples for us. And you can see on that domino zone, that's why we drilled it. Uh, one, it kind of fits our theories that we we're trying to prove up at Scotty with proximity to where it is on the Scotty gold mine, and then just super fantastic uh, grades. So we drilled 18 holes into that this year. If you remember when I said to look at the four uh, triangles going up the mountain, well, if you went, Right up that mountain down the other side, this is what you'd see. So on your right-hand side, there's the Scotty Gold Mine with that photograph I showed you. And then on the other side's Domino. This bubble chart shows uh, what we found in just three days of surface sampling last season. We didn't know they were that uh, uh, strong of results because we'd left the area and it wasn't only until we got the uh, uh, assays back that we, we saw how, how uh, exciting or interesting that it was. So we decided because it's very similar to the Scotty Gold Mine, it's very similar uh, east-west structures. That's what Scotty Gold Mine is—a stack, uh, a series of stacked east-west uh, veins. We we have at least thirteen on the Scotty pr uh, property. So this being two kilometers away looks very interesting. So we're we're hoping that uh, we we see on the other side of the mountain what we saw on, on the Scotty side. Here's a quick little photograph again, just looking west or looking, sorry, east at the domino zone. And then if you looked at the other side of that mountain, it would be the Scotty gold mine. So, uh, and shows our drill traces. We wanted to show that, you know, we gave it a, a, a nice little uh, uh, look, look under the ground for the whole, the zone that we found. So uh, those assays are pending. This slide says 15. We ended up putting 18 uh, just at the last minute. Uh, we wanted to see more. So for here we are, fast forward to 2020. Our season is done now. We're patiently waiting on drill results. We haven't released any yet. Uh, they've been really, really slow. I think uh, that's the same case for most people in my business right now. But we did complete over 7,000 meters. We did do a EM survey, low, low level, high resolution EM uh, survey over the Summit Lake properties. We did some IP over select targets. Ascot's been having great success. Uh, honing in with, with their IP. So we thought we'd try what they were doing. And, and so we're still waiting on that data. We've done a awful lot of surface sampling, had a full-time crew up all summer and, and a little bit of work on the tailings. Here's my corporate cheat um, to just kind of show where everybody is. I would assume you should think that we're at just 144 uh, million shares, fully uh, diluted, fully outstanding. There's only two warrant holders essentially left in the company. So we don't have any warrant overhang. They're in the money. Uh, I think at the end of this season, uh, you know, I should probably have in around that $3 million after 
uh, we finished paying all the bills this season. So with that, there's my 10 minute uh, uh, timer. So I've almost hit it good. I hope everybody's well. I hope I've made uh, enough energies that, that you'll pick up the phone or take a meeting. And, and, and if you're looking for a great exploration play in the right place with the right people, I think uh, we're someone that you should consider. Have a great day and stay, stay safe.